so here's a question for you find the exact value of cos open brackets tan inverse 3 plus tan inverse 1 over 3 now to solve this question if you do it directly you say what is tan inverse without using a calculator it's going to be a bit challenging but what you have to do is treat this one as a double angle identity where you can say we let um, we let tan inverse of 3 to be equal to alpha then we let tan inverse of 1 over 3 to be equal to beta so what I what I have now this is the same as I can replace where there's tan inverse 3 with alpha tan inverse 1 over 3 with beta meaning what I have now is uh, cos open brackets so there I'm going to put the alpha okay then plus I'm going to put the beta so this is the double angle identity so this is the same as cos alpha times cos beta minus sine alpha times sine beta okay so now if we find the exact value of this meaning that will be the answer for the whole of this because the answer for this is the answer for this okay and these beta they are going to help us to find the values of cos and sine okay so now from here what we have to do is I can just shift this to create space I can put this to this side I can say cos uh, alpha we have alpha which is 13 plus beta this has to be equal to this has to be equal to uh, we have cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta so what you are going to have is I can get rid of this now what I want us to understand is this we have tan inverse of 3 is equal to alpha okay so let's say we have let's just assume to say we have tan uh, alpha is equal to 3 now we are trying to find the alpha we know that this is going to be alpha is equal to tan inverse of 3 meaning that this I can replace this I can reverse it to say the original one was tan alpha was equal to 3 okay meaning that even the one for the beta that one was this one was just basically equal to it was tan beta was equal to 1 over 3 so this is what I want us to know so now let me just create to, to create space I'm going to put this on top here or to the light corner I'm going to say that tan alpha is equal to 3 then tan beta tan beta is equal to 1 over 3 okay now from here we know that from here we know that this tan we can have we have two angles okay meaning we have two triangles so we are going to have the first triangle which is going to be here I'll put it there so this triangle we have beta so we know that oh, we have alpha so alpha using Sokatoa using Sokatoa we know that tan is opposite over adjacent opposite is 3 meaning that the adjacent is 1 so 3 over 1 is just the same as 3 so the adjacent is 1 so to find the hypotenuse we know that to find the hypotenuse we can say that we have C here we have A we have B to find C is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared so C squared is going to be equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared so we know that a is going to be 3 squared plus 1 squared which is going to give us uh, 9 plus 1 which is going to be 10 meaning that this part here is the square root of 10 okay so let me just get rid of this now so this is the square root of 10 
I'm going to put it there. So we get rid of this. Okay, now from here we go to the beta. So we are going to have another triangle for the angle beta. So we're going to have this. Okay, so this is what we have. So we have alpha, or oh, we have beta now. So we have beta. So this is going to be tan. We are saying that it is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 1, the adjacent is 3. So we know that this is the same as what we had there. So this is going to be this is going to give us a 10. So the hypotenuse is going to be 10. Now from here, I want us to find the, since we want to find the cos and sine, I want us to, to find the, I can get rid of this, then I want us to find the sine, we find sine alpha, then we, sign, we also find the sine beta, also we need to find the cos alpha and cos beta. So what is sine alpha? Okay. So as we can see from the uh, from here, sine alpha, sine using Sokatoa, using Sokatoa, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 3, the hypotenuse is square root of 10. Okay, then we go to B, sine beta. Sine beta is opposite, opposite is 1. Okay, then the hypotenuse is square root of 10. Let's go to cos. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos alpha is going to be the adjacent is 1 over hypotenuse is the square root of 10. Then we go to this now, which is going to give us cos beta, which is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 3, the square root of 10. So now I can now get rid of this to create space. I can also get rid of this. So I know that for me to find cos alpha plus beta, this is going to give me what is so I'll start from there. What is cos alpha? Then I plug in the value for cos alpha. Cos alpha is a uh, one over root ten. Okay, I put it in brackets. We also have cos beta. Cos beta is three over root ten. I'm going to put it in brackets. We have minus. What is sine alpha? So sine alpha is 3 over root 10. Then I'm going to put it in brackets. We also have sine beta. Sine beta is 1 over root 10. So I'll do this. Okay. So this is going to give us cos alpha plus beta is going to give us 1 times 3 on top there we are going to get a 3 everything divided by root of 10 times root of 10 is going to give us a 10 minus 3 times 1 we are going to get a 3 then root of 10 times root of 10 is going to give us a root of 10 so we know that this is going to give us 0 it's same as 0 divided by oh it's, uh, this is going to give us just 10 root 10 times root 10 is going to give us 10 and not root 10 so we're going to have 3 minus 3 is going to be 0. Then 0 divided by 10, we have 0. So our cos alpha plus beta is going to be equal to 0. Meaning that we said that if we find this answer for this, that would be the answer for the whole of this. Because we have used the alpha and the beta. So we have not changed anything. So in conclusion, we have this. Uh, the exact value of cos tan inverse of 3 plus tan inverse of 1 over 3 is equal to 0. Okay. This has to be equal to 0. So the exact value for this is 0. So this is how you solve such kind of question. Okay.